That's why. Backed it off, thumbed it out about 100 and got it in. Fortunately, picked up socks line on the way through, but it is what it is. Got the bite. Probably about 12 kilo. Beautiful. Cheers, Brett. Absolute shark pit. The G Man's pulled out two and we pulled out nothing. Your turn will come. As he's pumping out balloons left, right, and center. Ruthless. Ew! This is how quick it can turn. Where was the last time we had that gap? Our gear was all out here. G-Man's lost the rod. Lost we the scurried gap. up to get all the rest of our stuff. Lost the gap. G-Man's lost the rod. How do you feel, G-Man? Not very no, impressed. Not impressed. Not very impressed. <laughs> they can stay there. Guess this is why you should check the swell each day. Get a weather forecast. We were fishing here yesterday. Good day to make reach. Covered in water. Oh, that's getting bigger, eh? That's a lot of water, eh? It's enough to wash you in. Fishing day.
Yesterday the swell pumped, uh, the day got saved by the chook, got a gold spot, catch and release, and today we're getting cooked by the rain. They forecasted low swell tomorrow and the rain has stopped, so if it's, uh, as they say, we might be able to get in for a dive, have a paddle, see if we can't get something. Real? It's a real one, you reckon? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, I reckon it has, yeah, because there's not much washing over the. I haven't seen anything washing over the top there yet. So the swell drops is about as good as it's going to get, but um, just contending with a few sharks here. <laughs> This is where we're getting in. Hopefully we don't get bit, but hopefully we get shot. Boys are on. Boys got the float line up there for me. When I catch something, pass it up to them. Uh, it's a bit annoying getting in and out, but you just gotta deal with it. See what we can get. Thank you. 
Nice body on the spear. Couple of dogs. They come in with the colour craze. Don't know what you're having for dinner, Malacca, but I surely know what I am. How's that one? Couple of dogs. Oh. Yeah, boy. At the work parties, they go, how come she always comes to talk to you? Because you got the crayfish, a couple of fresh crays for the boys. No. Yeah, get the dog. We're gonna need a bigger fucking pot. Shit. Mate, you should work, you should become a chef. Mate, Look at him. Else, Look yeah. how he's done it. All you gotta do is throw a bit of garnish, greenery, get some colour in turn, that's a fucking no. master chef, they reckon. You'll but be winning. We don't have enough dick around for that. Master chef. Cool, Joe.
Wow. Oh, big fish. Big body. Good body. That's the fish of the trip. Trip maker. Hold it straight. Oh, that's a good fish, eh? That's a real one. I'll be happy with that, Jay. Get a real one. <laughs> Donkey baldy. PB for Joe. Yeah, boy. Yeah, that's a good baldy. So my head's all just top a bit. Yeah. That's a big fish. Snapper. Oh, Spango. Spango, yeah. Where's your finger up there? Good spango. Oh yeah! Yeah boy! I got it! It's not big! <laughs> oh he just grew a bit eh? It's not big. Oh, kill a boat. Yeah, yeah. Little pinky. Oh. Nah. Fish took with his PB Baldy about as good as it gets, <coughs> almost about as big as it gets. So, gonna run through what gear me and the boys use for fishing for demersals off the cliffs. Uh, next week, we'll run through what we use for ballooning, getting on the gas, getting the pelagics, but this week, uh, demersals. So, predominantly fishing cliffs. 10 to 10 to 20 meters off the water and either deadlifting the fish up or using a cliff gaff to get it up uh, we did fish some bigger ledges which were sort of oh, 30 to 40 meters up but we didn't catch shit so we'll put those on the on the cliffs so we're all using very similar gear if not exactly the same gear reels a saltiga dogfight 8000 uh, that's sport up with P8 leader. That's the leader that I was using. I was using 130. Uh, I'm running at least at least 10 to 15 meters of leader. Sometimes even more. Uh, the other boys could have been using 80, as low as 80, and upwards of 150. So 80 to 150, 10 to 15 meters. You want to run a decent amount of leader. As soon as your braid touches that cliff, the rock. It's all over. Whatever fish you had on there, you can say goodbye, it's gone. So you want to minimize your risk of the braid touching the rock. So running, you know, longer leaders, it's going to minimize your risk of losing that fish. Rig is pretty simple. We all run the same rig. Size 10 ball sinker. 
straight or single hook. So the hooks I was using this trip, mustard big guns. That's a 12 o hook. That's her there. So that was my first weapon of choice. Second weapon of choice, another mustard hook. Mustard Taiwana hook. Taiwana, is that how you say it? I'm not quite sure. You can Google it. But um, it's a very small hook. Very small hook. But it holds and they don't bend out. So the worst that will happen to it is the tip there will, will bend over and then you replace it. That does happen, but on a fish, they don't bend out. I haven't lost a fish yet. Um, they're, they're pretty cheap as well. Sometimes can be hard to get, but they've been a winner for me so far. Rods that I've been using. So, uh, been using this rod for years. BG85S. Uh, that's an 8.6. So the other boy is probably using a, maybe a GT86, which is a very similar rod. Um, but I don't think you can get them anymore. You might be, I don't know if I'm sure. Um, so 8.6, that's perfect for deadlifting fish. Uh, basically, you point that rod and that's where the fish will go. I was predominantly using that, but I also uh, just got my hands on one of these, which is a Daiwa Spartan. So, it's a 10 foot rod. I'll show you there, you can see that. That is her. So it was a 10 foot rod. And uh, so I could get a bit more of a cast, but I was also deadlifting fish. I deadlifted, um, I mean, some were five kilos and deadlifting them up, no worries. So that is a next weapon of choice that I'll probably be using a bit more of. Um, so yeah, next week we'll run through the gas ballooning side of things and, and what gear you're using for the pelagics. Yeah.